Welcome to Spice and Pens. Subscribe to our channel for our recipes weekly. Today we'll be cooking crispy seafood tofu. First off, we'll make up the tofu, 7 pieces of eggs, half a teaspoon of salt, beat them up first. Slowly add in 500 ml of unsweetened soya milk. You can get this in the carton form or fresh from the hawker, but it has to be unsweetened. Mix them up while you're pouring them in. Once you mix them up, prepare a steaming tray lined with parchment paper like this. The reason why I'm doing this is it will make removing the tofu so much easier. Sift this solution through. Now we want our tofu to be smooth, so we need to sieve it through. Normally if I want to make silky egg tofu, I will use a spoon to remove all these bubbles and I'll also use a little foil to cover it up so that it won't form crater like um, on the surface of this uh, tofu over here. But for this dish it's fine because basically we will be mashing up the tofu with seafood or rather prawns and uh, fish paste later on. So let's go and steam this first. I have some water boiling in this wok over here. I'm going to steam the tofu inside this wok of boiling water. This will take around 20 to 25 minutes. Just cover it back again. You can use medium flame for this. 20 minutes is up. Let's have a look. Let's check whether this is cooked. Right, if you don't see any residue, Coming out from the stick, we put it in, that means this is done already. We'll let this cool before we continue with the next step. After the tofu has cooled down, we will proceed to mix the shrimp and fish paste with the tofu. I'm using a food processor with me. If you don't have one, what you can do is just mash the prawns with your cleaver and then just chop them up finely and mix them together. But I'm using this because it's so much easier. 400 grams of prawns, the shark like this. You just put all the prawns in. I'm going to chop up these prawns first before I add in the rest of the ingredients. Very fine. Fish paste, 200 gram. You can get this from any supermarket. If you want to use fish, you can do so also. If you want to use fresh fish, depending on the texture of the fish, you might need to add a little bit of flour if it's too, um, too soft. Half a teaspoon of salt and I'm putting in also the tofu that we have prepared earlier. I've cut them into smaller pieces so it's easier to process. We're going to blend this into a paste and we're going to steam them again. Put the lid back on and blend it. So this is the consistency that I want. And we'll spread this into the steaming tray now. Pour this into your steaming tray. Now you can add in carrots, chop up carrots, parsley, or whichever vegetable that you want onto this beautiful mixture over here. It's really personal preferences as to what you want it to, to have inside here. Once you are done with this, we will smoothen this up, the top layer, and I'll show you how to do it. Flatten it in this steaming tray. After doing this, we will steam this for another 20 minutes or until set. This is as flat and as even as I can get it to be. So let's go and steam this now. I have boiling water prepared already. I'm just going to pop this in and steam this for 20 minutes or until set. So we'll see the end result after 20 minutes. 20 minutes is up. Let's have a look. Let's see whether they are cooked already or not. No residue on your satay stick, which means this is done. We will cool this down, after which we will cook them with corn flour and we will deep fry them. Now that the tofu has cooled down, I'm going to cut them into 1 inch cube, coat them with corn flour and deep fry them. Okay, we have cut through the tofu and we are going to cook them now. Put it in the corn flour. Put it up with the corn flour and shake off the excess flour like this. 
continue with the rest. In a pan, heat up some oil. How to know whether the oil is ready or not? You put a bamboo chopstick in and see the air bubble rising up. Okay. This means that the oil is hot. We will start frying this at medium heat. We will fry this. We don't want to burn the tofu. Take them up, man. Just put them in like this. Be very careful when you do this. Don't burn yourself. We are going to fry them until golden brown. This will take a couple of minutes. Remember the heat shouldn't be too high, otherwise you'll burn them very very easily. Okay, like golden brown this is what we want it to be, the color. We're going to take them out now. These are very tasty treats. Children loves them. It goes excellent with beer also. Very popular with adults like us. Once you're done with this, we'll continue with the next batch. So let's give this seafood tofu a try. Crispy on the outside, very soft and tender in the inside. Really good. I hope you like our video. Do click like on our video and do subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.